Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of CSCART AliExpress Dropship Add-on. Now dropshipping is a retail fulfillment method where the store owner doesn't keep the products it sells in stock. Instead, when a store sells a product, it purchases the product or the item from a third party and gets it shipped directly to the customer and as a result the merchant never sees or handles the product. Now using this particular add-on that's the CSCART AliExpress Dropshipping add-on, uh, you'll be able to import the products from AliExpress directly into your store and you can start selling those products at your store very easily. After the admin receives the orders of the imported products from the AliExpress in your store, uh, from when the order is placed from your CSCART store, the admin can place the same order on AliExpress and can get it shipped directly from the AliExpress warehouse to the customer. Now kindly note that uh, import products with you'll be able to import products with product option combinations as well you can change the description and the price of the product being imported apart from that we also have other features available as well you can check the user guide that i've attached within the description of this particular video for more details on the other uh, features that we have provided uh, within this particular uh, add-on that's the cscart aliexpress drop shipping add-on so in today's uh, video tutorial, we'll be checking out the initial configuration settings for this uh, particular add-on and we'll be setting up the AliExpress Chrome extension that must be installed uh, before you can import the products from the AliExpress into your uh, CSCart web store there. Apart from that, we also have to update the authentication details wherein we have to add the store URL where the products would be uh, imported, your email and your API key. So I'll be showing you that as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that uh, on the very top of my Google Chrome, I've already installed the AliExpress uh, Google Chrome extension that you can see. And after I've installed this extension, I've accessed the AliExpress.com and I'm on one of the categories there. For example, I'm on the chargers. Now, if I want to import the products from AliExpress into my CS card store, what I need to do is I need to first of all update the authentication data so after the successful installation of this particular icon that you can see here the google chrome extension for the aliexpress importer uh, you will have this update authentication data tab available on the uh, aliexpress itself now let me show you how you can update the authentication data to update the authentication data you have to tap here on the update authentication data and this would bring up this particular url update now here you have to enter the uh, URL of your store where the products would be imported. So for example, I have this particular URL here uh, up till demo. So I'll just go up till demo here. Uh, let me uh, cancel this out and let me copy it up and I'll paste it here within the URL here. And then I'll tap here on the next button. Then we have to enter the email and the API key of the admin. For that we have to go to the admin backend panel of our CS card web store and then go to customers administrators here i'll tap on the main administrator that's the john doe so here i have the email address under the account information i have to copy that up paste it here then uh, under the api access key here you have the api access key then i have to copy that up and then paste here and then tap on the next button so you can see that the authentication was successful there now we'll be able to import the products from the aliexpress into our cs card store so for example we need to uh, import this portable wireless charger so i'll open this particular product and uh, after the product loads up here you'll see an importer icon on the right hand side just to the uh, to the name of the product there so here you can see this uh, particular icon is there so this is uh, for importing this particular product into your CS card store. Now to import the product, what we need to do is we just need to tap here on the click here to import. But before that, let me copy the name of this particular product. That's the uh, portable wireless charger so that I can show you when it uh, appears here under the entertainment uh, category. So in the configuration settings, I've said the imported products should be available uh, from the, the, the products that we have imported from the 
uh, AliExpress should be available under the entertainment category so right now there are none uh, products there so in a while from now I'll show you that so now I've copied this name of uh, this particular product here so I'll tap here on the import button and after tapping on the import button it just takes a few moments there and you can see now we have the product import uh, section here wherein you can find the name price meta title meta description meta tag keywords and you can make the changes to the same so here you can see that the price is 280.13 there the same is visible here as well so if i cancel it out 280.13 in my currency there so i'll just tap here on the import icon this will bring up this particular section if i want to make changes to the name there i can make the changes to the name price meta title meta description meta tag keywords and then what i need to do is then i need to tap here on the next button and this would start uh, importing the product into the store there into the cs card store so if i take you to the section here and now if i refresh the entertainment category here we'll be able to see the particular product being imported so here's the portable wireless charger for iWatch that we were checking out there on the AliExpress itself. So here's the product at the AliExpress, uh, as we can see here. And the same is visible here under the store as well, the portable wireless charger for iWatch 60 and 5 for magnetic charging dock station there. Now if I open it up, I can view the images of the product as well, as you can see. And here we are having the name of the product, the price. Here we have the description as you can see, having if there's any content there, that content and the images would be imported there. So all of the uh, content images and the rest of the dimension descriptions uh, can be seen there. Now for example, if it's a uh, uh, product with options, uh, for example, if we have a hoodie there, uh, if I open the hoodie there, and uh, here we have the color we have color variations we have the size variations now when we are importing this particular product by tapping here on the click here to import button then the particular options as well as the size options would be imported and would be then uh, visible here on the product page within your cs card store itself now the product that i have imported is just a simple product so that's why no no product options are visible here now if I go back to the admin backend panel, go to the products and product section, I can find this particular product in the admin backend panel as well. So here I'll go to the products and here I'll search for this particular product. I'll search it out. Here's the particular product. We can tap here on the particular product to edit it up in the edit mode. And here we can find the name of the product. We can make the changes there. Here you can see that the, that the category is entertainment there, the price is there and the full description of the product is uh, visible there as well. Now if I go back uh, to this particular section for example uh, I can import the products as per my own requirement. Now sometimes it happens that uh, you need to update the authentication data once again uh, so as to import the products that then in that case what you need to do is you need to just tap here on the update authentication data enter your store URL tap on the next button enter your email address your key as i've shown you tap on the next button to authenticate and it would authenticate the particular url where we need to import the uh, products from the aliexpress into your cs card store there so this was the procedure of installing the uh, or having the aliexpress chrome extension initially and how to update the authentication data there by entering the store url your email and your api key now uh, for example now on your store uh, there now the customers can add the particular product into the cart that uh, is uh, basically imported from the aliexpress into your cs card store so if i tap here on the add to cart button the product would be added into the cart and then we can make a checkout thereafter now let me complete this checkout here so just give me a minute for that so let me sign into my uh, customer account there and I'll be checking out with the portable wireless charger that we've just imported from the AliExpress into our CS card store. I'll choose the delivery method there. I'll tap here on the continue button and then I'll be choosing my payment method. So for now, I'll be choosing other payment methods and I'll be going for the cash on delivery there. I'll accept the terms and conditions there and I'll tap here on the submit my order button. Now after the order has been placed, how to search the order in the admin backend, I'll also show you that as well. So just give me a minute for that, let the order uh, get placed. 
so the order has been placed as you can see congratulations your order has been successfully placed now uh, if i want i can check the order details as a customer as well so the order number is 291 as you can see here here is the product that we had imported from the aliexpress into our uh, into our cs card store now to check this particular product order i can go to view orders here i can find the particular order number 291 otherwise if i am not able to search it out i can go with the advanced search here on the right hand side and here i can scroll down and choose show aliexpress orders and tap on the search button then only the aliexpress orders would be visible here now i can open it up to view the details of the order there now to place the order at aliexpress what the uh, admin needs to do is he needs to tap here and tap on the place aliexpress order now this would redirect him to the aliexpress and uh, the particular product would be added into the cart uh, thereafter so just let me give you an example of that you need to be logged in at the aliexpress as well so right now i'm not logged into my account at aliexpress so here you can see that we are being redirected to the particular product page. the product has been added into the cart and thereafter we'll be taken to the checkout page thereafter so that's how you can place the order for the aliexpress uh, products within your cs card store uh, by tapping here and tapping on the place aliexpress order and then you will be taken to the checkout thereafter very easily if you're logged in there now let me show you some initial configuration settings for this uh, particular plugin in the admin backend panel for that we have to go to add-ons and manage add-ons here we have to search for aliexpress and it allows the admin to import products from aliexpress site into their cs card web store and tap on the settings option now here we can set the default quantity for the aliexpress products in your site so whenever you are importing the products from aliexpress into your cs card store then here you can set up the default quantity that should be assigned to those products there then you can set up the product price whether the price setting for the aliexpress imported product should be same you need to increase it decrease it or the it should be a custom so if it's same then the price would uh, of the product would be same otherwise if you want to increase you can set increase and enter the product price value here for the increase or decrease or you can go with the custom as well and enter the product price value for those imported products altogether apart from that uh, you can also select the default store uh, where the uh, particular uh, aliexpress uh, product should be imported and then you can choose uh, to add the categories where the aliexpress product should be uh, imported so here we are showing you that we had imported the aliexpress product into the entertainment category there that's uh, this one this particular category there uh, this is the aliexpress product under the same and here we had chosen the categories as entertainment itself so for more details and about more about the uh, different other features and functionalities that we provide within this particular add-on that's the cs card aliexpress dropshipping add-on you can check the user guide that i've attached within the description of this particular video for more details you can check the same apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvs.com as well and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead